Okay, so we finally made it to the solo section here in the still of the night. Um, so it's got a really cool chord progression, a uh, cool riff going on underneath it. So we're going to learn that first. Uh, you do play this. This is played twice without the solo underneath it. Uh, well, it's actually played once full time through it. The, the riff itself is kind of the same thing done twice. Um, and then we have um, this riff continuing underneath the guitar solo. So let's learn the riff first. Um, here's what it sounds like. Okay, so it's really cool. It's got some keyboards playing along with those chords that we're doing up there. So we start with that E power chord that we've played a few times. Remember to mute the third string out. Then the low E string palm muted twice. Then you hit the power chord of the fifth fret on the A string. Palm mute the low E string again. And this time play the power chord up at the tenth fret on the same strings. And then back power chord the palm mute twice back to the power chord of the fifth fret. So we have this. Palm mute the sixth string twice one more time. Then we're gonna pick uh, we're gonna play the power chord once at the third fret, then once at the fifth. So all those power chords are off the fifth string. We have our first set of triads up here. Slide your first finger up to the 14th fret on the fifth string. Then you play, this is actually a G major triad. You're borrowing, all these triads are gonna be on the second, third, and fourth strings. So you're gonna be picking those three strings only. This time you're gonna be borrowing across the 12th fret on those. Then do a D major triad, which is 12th fret on the D string, um, 11th fret on the G string, and then 10th fret on the B string. Then slide into the 11th fret here on the D string. This is an A major triad, first inversion. That G, by the way, was in second inversion. Sliding into this A major first inversion, that's the 11th fret on the D, first fret, I mean, I'm sorry, first finger at the 9th fret on the G string, and then 10th fret on the B. Now this is gonna be an F major triad, and, and we have this, uh, it's in fifth and, uh, third inversion. So I'm sorry, not third, second inversion, sorry. <laughs> So we have this all together. So the whole riff. Now we're gonna repeat that all again, except instead of the last chord being this F triad, we're gonna make it a E triad. So that's going to sound with the E triad in it, it's going to sound like this. If you can put some vibrato on these chords, it'd be great. All right, so that's basically how the chord progression is played underneath the solo. You play the same chord progression, first ending it with the F major triad and then ending it with the E major triad the second time through. And as soon as you get through the second time through and ending it with the E, that is one complete time through the chord progression that works underneath the solo. Then you do that again, or the rhythm guitar player will do that again. When it starts over, then the lead guitar part comes in. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It's a pretty short solo, but he manages to throw a ton of notes in there. So. It's going to start here with uh, some harmonics and whammy bar dives. We're going to have the harmonic bend 
hit a hard fish harmonic at the seventh fret on the G string. Um, at the seventh fret on the G string, and bend it up and down, bend and release it a little bit, and then pick the harmonic at the fifth fret, the open string, the open harmonic at the fifth fret on the G, and then do a bar dive on it. All right. So that's just kind of like uh, stuff that just kind of starts the solo. Uh, these little incidental noises, but that's about what he's doing. Then you're going to flick up to the neck pickup. Then we're going to start the really fast scale run. Now, let's break this down slowly. The whole scale run, I'll play it really slowly first and then we'll go through it. Alright, so let's start here at the 9th fret on the 5th string and play 9, 10, 12. Now everything is going to be straight alternate picking, so just start with a downstroke and always alternate your picking. So that was down, up, down. And then 9, 10, 12 again on the D string. And then 9, 10, I'm sorry, 9, 11, 12 on the G. Then roll your pinky. This is the, the trickiest part of the solo. You're going to grab this with an upstroke, this B note. You kind of roll your pinky over to the, G, uh, the B string and grab that 12th fret. Then come back down to the G. I mean, the, it's, it's the G note. It's at the 12th fret on the G string, then 11, then 9. So we have this. All right, from there we're going to skip up to the 12th position and we're going to play 12, 14, 16 on the D string and 12, 14, 16 on the G string. Then we're going to do 13, 15, 17 on the B string. Then 14, 15, 17 on the high E. Come back down, 15, 14. And then play 17, 15, 14 on the B string. Then scoot up to the 15th fret. We're going to do 15, 17, 19 on the B string and the G string, uh, the high E string. So far, the whole thing we got. Then you're going to grab the 16th fret, come over to the B string, 16, 17, 19 on the B. Then scoot up really quickly and play the 20th, 19th, and 13th, um, 17th fret here on the high E. This is going to start like a, a series of continual three note patterns down this string. So we have 20, 19, 17, then 19, 17, 15. Then 17, 15, 14. Then 15, 14, 12. Now we're going to come over to the B string and play 15, 13, 12. So, so far we have. Then we on the, over to the G string, we're going to do 14, 12, 11, back to 12, back to 14 kind of sends us back up, going back up in the ascending direction. Then back to the B string, 12, 13, 15. And then over to the high E, 12, 14, 15. And then you're going to want to jump up to the 17th fret, 
pick that once, and then we're going to start the bends on that string. So, so far, all, all together, we have all the fast runs going to be this. All right, so as soon as you play that 17 once, then you pick it again and bend it. And it's a lot of bending and releasing on that 17th fret up a whole step and back down on the high E string. Then you do a bend, then pick 17 normal, come over and grab 17 on the B string. Then a 20th fret, bend, release, and pick 20 again. Then this guitar doesn't have a 22nd fret, but you would now scoot up to the 22nd fret. I'm going to bend up to it. But that last note there should be at the 22nd fret here. Like that, okay? And then you're going to do a whole step bend at the 22nd fret. I'm going to bend um, up from the 21st fret to up to this high E note. So while you're picking it and holding that note, you keep picking it and just barely releasing it a little bit and then bringing it back up in the pitch. Okay? So that's the entire solo. From there we go straight back into the main rhythm of the song. Then back into the verse, verse section, the octave riff. and then what we call the pre-chorus. And that holds while the drums start doing all their drum fills, and that takes us straight into the outro section, which is coming in the next lesson.